Hello everyone and welcome to Usitility. Today we are going to see how to play One Punch Man World on PC using the brand new Bluestacks 5, that is designed for blazing fast speed and high octane action. We will be able to easily download and install One Punch Man World and enjoy the game on our Windows PC with keyboard, mouse and big screen thanks to Bluestacks 5, which is the Android emulator that we recommend to play One Punch Man World. So without further ado, let's get to it. Before anything else folks, the first thing to do is to launch our main browser. We selected the one we use by default. Let's continue, going to the next URL I have highlighted in green color. Now, you can discover on the PC screen. There is no need to type anything, because I added a link in the video description in the first main comment. We arrived there on the internet site of Usitility, in which we have an in-depth demonstration on how to download and install One Punch Man World on laptop or computer. We browse down a tad and then click on the download game on PC button. After clicking on this link, we reach the site of Bluestacks, which the Android emulator that we are going to use to play One Punch Man World on PC. As you can discover here we access several pros of preferring using the emulator. Then, we are ready to start downloading the One Punch Man World by simply clicking on this button play on Bluestacks that you can visualize here in green. We then click on the button. Of course, the download action takes no time at all. Voila, here is located the download. It's an executable file. The following step is to run the executable file, so we need to click on this file. Windows 10 users will be asked for permission to make modifications to the laptop or device. We have clicked yes. I reduce the browser to find the installation software considerably better. The installation software is pretty simple. It contains a couple of choices, install, and setup path. I will make it clear what setup path genuinely does. We simply click it, and now we see that we they got here the path in which the emulator can be placed. If we would you like to change for better this directory we have got to click on that browse option and now we pick another directory and install the emulator exactly where we prefer to keep it simple just leave it by default i simply click on back and therefore i click on install great the installation commences and it is going to move forward in the download of all these mb that happens to be shown on our computer screen the moment you download it it could possibly be a little more or less megabytes the data transfer speed can be faster or slower determined by your web access and according to the speed of the emulator web servers Right away they're working really fast. The download is finished, and now it proceeds with the installation phase. With Bluestacks 5 you can even reduce RAM usage with a single click. Especially useful if you ever face performance related problems. In addition, you can activate Eco Mode to enjoy 87% reduced CPU usage, 97% reduced GPU usage and easier multitasking. As you can see, Bluestacks 5 is built to provide stability and performance during long gaming sessions. The installation has already finished for me. At this point, the emulator has been started successfully. As you will notice, down here, we have a progress bar which will move forward to the right and once it attains the ending, the emulator will be started for the first time. Believe it or not the emulator has already been started, there for the first time. Before we keep going, as you will notice, it has made a couple of software icons right here on the PC desktop. The Bluestacks and Bluestacks multi-instance. Note that the Bluestacks icon is the only one we're interested in. The moment we choose to start One Punch Man World on our laptop or computer, we twice click on this specific icon and as a result run the emulator. The Bluestacks multi-instance icon allows you to launch multiple emulator instances. And with Bluestacks 5's new improved multi-instance manager in eco mode, players can run more game instances faster and with less lag. We should do the next phase, which is actually a must-have, and this is to visit the Google Play Store. To achieve this we will browse here to, System Apps, we click on. And we'll click on Play Store. As can be seen the Google Play is launched. In this case we must log on. Right now when we're on this page, we must absolutely perform the following step that is definitely imperative. Therefore we just click on, sign in. At this point it says, checking info. It could once in a while get blocked in, checking info, that's why it fails to continue. In that case, you can attempt to connect to your account after a number of hours and it will surely most probably be sorted out. At this point we are going to type our email address and password. The email address ought to be a Gmail email as well as its corresponding password. For instance you can utilize the exact same email address you are using at this time in your YouTube account. Then I am going to insert my details and I will go back as soon as I have completed it. That's all, data typed in. Find out Google welcoming us and presenting us their terms of service. We should consent to them all simply by pressing, I agree. After that, it offers us to save to the Google Cloud. You can also keep it selected and it will make a backup of your data files on this device to Google Drive. I will not check it, you can utilize this option if you want. We mouse click on accept. The Google Play Store is launched without need to open it manually and immediately. To set up the video game, we would need to get to the emulator desktop for Android by double-clicking on this app icon indicated green-colored. Today that we are on the desktop of that emulator for Android, we notice that we find right here the install app game option. We click or double-click on this button. Right here we have the game app. 
Let's then click now on the install choice that I'm presenting now in green color. Therefore, it will start the software installation. Straight away it is going to download and install the game, it can take quite some time or it may just be extremely fast. This all relies upon on our own internet connection. It has just finished setting up. Back to the emulator desktop by pressing this particular option that I'm highlighting in green, to be able to launch One Punch Man World for the very first time. You are by then on the emulator desktop, and therefore we are preparing to click on this fresh One Punch Man World icon that was provided. That game is started for the first time. So there we end up with it, I am able to press anywhere on the screen and also make use of the keyboard. I am going to comment on the sound level of that emulator. It's right here. We use the icon of higher volume along with the icon of lower volume, this way we do not use the windows volume to increase or decrease the music of the emulator. As well as to enjoy the experience to the maximum, we will activate the large monitor, for which we have two choices. That is the very first one, we mouse click on that software icon which I'm pointing out in green color. Then the screen is maximized, experiencing one border on top, one at the right and the third one at the bottom. In the case that we desire to launch the app using all the screen, we mouse click on that application icon. And we'd without a doubt be experiencing and enjoying the game app in 100% screen function. To escape the 100% screen functionality, press the F11 key. And we'd currently play in regular display screen setting. At this moment I am going to clarify you the keys mapping and that is definitely surprisingly enjoyable. This step we definitely will be ready to utilize the game app much more easily. The first task is to click on this computer keyboard icon. And right now there you will be able to complete the appropriate setups. I'll go ahead and let the normal configuration, however if you plan to improve this, you can also do it now without any problem. Clearly, the emulator is completely in our own language. In certain cases it occurs that your emulator is presented in the wrong language, such as, in Mandarin. So to set it in the proper language we click here to the cogwheel. So here throughout various other configuration settings, we mouse click on the language drop down. We are able to determine the language we want, German, Mandarin, and so on. When the language is decided, we should save, the emulator would restart, and the video game, next time we run it, will also be in the opted for language. Right now, there is another thing that we need to take into consideration, and this is that we will get a message from Google saying that a completely new electronic device has been linked to our own Google account. It will likely ask us if we are the ones who have connected that device. Absolutely, we shouldn't get worried, because the emulator is acting as an Android smartphone or tablet. And then to see which smartphone or tablet is currently being emulated, we visit right here, to the cogwheel and we just click on it. And so we go here to the, model, selection. And there we observe that the emulator is simulating a Samsung smartphone. And so we're going to receive an email saying that a new Samsung device has been connected to our Google account. This is it folks, so much for my video tutorial. I hope that you enjoyed it, especially that you thought it was informative. If that is so, offer it a nice like, subscribe to the channel, and any feedback, questions or suggestions, let them in the comment box down below. Click on any of those videos that happens to be appearing on the computer screen and let's have fun again in the upcoming video game videos. Bye.